calling Verizon. We are currently experiencing higher than normal call volume. Of course. Your estimated wait time is... What would be the reason why you're looking to cancel? Is it price? Um, price is, a, is definitely a big reason, yeah. There was a really scary moment in U.S. political history when net neutrality was repealed. Verizon can see all of my data and all the websites I go to and everything like that, and I just don't like that idea so much. The original spirit of the internet was that it was open and anyone can connect, and nobody monitored the data, and uh, yeah, we're trying to get back to that. Mesh Network is a community-based, donation-based organization that helps distribute free, open, community-based internet. Oh, okay. Well, uh, we're not the only company that maintains our Wi-Fi access with our customers. Uh, the, the reality of the situation is that I have replaced my internet connection with a, um, a, a free community-based internet here in downtown Manhattan. Essentially, if you think of a mesh network, there are a lot of different connections that communicate with each other and essentially redistribute this network of internet connections. And the more participants in this network, the stronger and wider the network becomes. The source of the connectivity is super nodes. A uh, super node connects directly to the internet and a hub node is like one hop away. It's located on the old Verizon building. Verizon sold it to a data center and now it has an internet exchange point in there. The fiber cables come from overseas and into the building. We have an antenna on the roof. We've got another one in Bushwick. We have to pay rent to put the um, antenna on top of the building. We only exist and operate based on donations. We began by um, using little little mesh routers and connecting rooftop to rooftop and sharing whatever internet connection we had. The speed's measured in megabits per second and to watch Netflix you need five. We average about a hundred. The antenna range is about two miles. After that the speed drops off. You need a line of sight to the building. About two thirds of rooftops downtown can see this building. There are parts of New York which have terrible service and, and parts that have no service at all, like an internet desert. This area of uh, Williamsburg, we don't, there's, service is very poor. At one time we had a conversation with uh, Spectrum. They said they would actually come out and wear the building for 80000 and bring service to the building, but it would cost us 80000 Mesh networks are a perfectly legal means of operating your network. Uh, generally speaking, unless you access licensed frequencies or you need access to either poles or ducts uh, in the ground, anybody can operate a, a network as a commercial service that is, does not require a permit beyond normal business permits. I think ISPs have convinced people that the only way to get internet is through them and that's just not true. And that just suits their business model. <laughs> but uh, what we do is completely legal and it's the way the internet should be. Alright Alex, we have everything updated for you, okay? Sweet! Finally! Wire cutting, it's been a long time. <laughs>